Alright. Well, welcome back, everybody. As you know, last time we watched the first episode of Kamen Rider Ryuki. Today we watched the second episode. Thoughts, gentlemen? Overall thoughts? Well, I think we need to go over, like, what happened this episode before we give yeah. thoughts. But what, what were your thoughts on it, though? Alright. Thoughts, uh, slightly confusing in some cases. And of that, I do, f I do find some aspects of the show to be really good. I do enjoy it. The fight scene was actually good this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had some weird transi uh, transitions, so it's like the guy's movements as he's in midair, they have the dragon like close like, ups. The close ups. I, I won't complain about That's that. That's right, the close ups. <laughs> That's one problem I have with like, all these <laughs> different Japanese shows and movies. They have all these different clips, even, I mean, close ups. They even do a montage of them, too. And it frustrates me. Are like, we doing a montage? Why? Do I have to edit the montage? No. Oh. Close up montage? Oh. Just my cue to get close to the camera? Oh. So, yeah. The dragon is like wrapping around the guy during the fight scene. Each time he like, passes him, he's in a new, like, uh, movement. Just to make it look like he's doing some awesome flips and kick. Oh. Um, yeah, it was a confusing episode, but it was pretty good. Alright, so now on to the um, synopsis of the episode. Uh, spoiler warning. I forgot to say it last time, didn't I? Yeah. I don't think they'd be watching this if they didn't want spoilers. Fair enough. Okay, so, who wants to start this time? Justin, do you want to start explaining what happened? No. Michael, right. take it away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Opens up with him uh, waking up, like after a close up and like preview of sorts. It starts with uh, our main character waking up on, uh, in some random house. He walks around, finds the two other people. Like he described it as, what was it, yeah, they described it as a German cottage. It looked very much like a German cottage when, yeah. when he first woke up with yeah. a map of Japan on the wall. Yeah. So they're interrogating this guy, trying to figure out what he knows. Mm -hmm. And as that happens, uh, Batman, I guess, Japanese, is, Batman. Japanese, Japanese Batman. Batman, as they're referring to him as, uh, he figures out, he catches on pretty quickly that this guy doesn't know anything. Like he has no idea what's going on. So he says, "You know what? Just give it up, man." Surprised they You're didn't not... figure it out before, right? Yeah, especially like with him looking around, lost, trying to figure out what's going on. Also, the fact that he, like, crashed into the mirror. Yeah. Like, in the last episode, you'd think you would've figured out, like, hmm, you know, maybe this guy doesn't really know what's going on. That's the other thing we forgot to mention, uh, which is pretty interesting in itself. Uh, for whatever reason, when they air, uh, enter through the mirror dimension, they can only spin there for so long before, like, disappearing to non-existence. That's right. And they have to leave the way they came in. Yeah, which is why the dragon only appeared for a moment in the last episode. Yeah, and I, I really hope that at some point in the show, it's there's going to be like conflict in one of the fight scenes where it's like, well, you're going to die anyways, smash mirror that you came in. From. Yeah, that's a p plot point we point out during the episode. And I really hope that that's going to happen at some like, point. Yeah, that's got. I'm hoping so. So hold on, I'm trying. Okay, so he gets a gist of what's going on. He goes back and tries to warn his co-workers to stop digging into this. They don't believe him, they, they don't call him an idiot. Fuck up! They call him an idiot, but that oh, one, there's and right, one so from an outside perspective. True, that's right. we forgot to mention the creepy painting in the house. Oh yeah. Yeah, these two saw, I don't know what they were looking at. There's this really creepy looking painting in the background. For, for a split second, <laughs> both of us saw Woody from Toy Story then. I actually, I saw Pinocchio. Really? I this saw Woody from Toy Story. I'll put a picture of it in this review so people can, like, a still shot of it. We need to go back and see what That was a weird fucking picture. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so he tries to warn his co-workers, and one lady who's, like, <coughs> working on the whole thing, she gets up all in his face and pretty much roasts the guy. <laughs> like, about what it means to be a journalist. And 
I would have considered roast if this was an English dub, to be honest. What is, what is the language different? Uh, I don't know, because when you hear in English, you know what they're saying. They've been, Fair enough. With this, you have to read it. Fair enough. Yeah. So if you just spoke Japanese, it would be a burn? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Uh, all of a sudden, like, he gets this... He suddenly becomes determined to find out what's going on. And he goes to his boss. He's like, I'm going to investigate, investigate too. His boss is so excited. I'm like, yeah, all right, go ahead. <laughs> he said Mo. Ah. Mo. I don't know what that means because we're using TV Nihon to watch this. They don't sub that word for some reason. They don't sub a lot of things on the papers too. That's true. We can't read kanjis because we're filthy Americans. We can't read kanji. So it does this thing where sometimes it tells you what it says, and sometimes it doesn't. They only they only translated the names that are on the papers. Former, uh, former only for a split second. Only for a split second. Yeah. All right. What was I? All so right. After so after that, he goes to he, the. He drives around on his little in his bicycle or, or his mo motor. His, I think it was a mo motorped. Motorped. Yeah, and the guy who attempts to like just give up. Japanese starts, Batman. Japanese Batman. He starts following him around, which he's actually been doing almost all day. These two uh, have kept on going about like he did, that he was uh, just stalking our main character. And at some point, and I, you have to excuse me, I'm, it's going to take me a while to get these names because we don't. I don't know their names. I know that. Um, oh, Ryuki, you know his name Shinji. That's right. The main character's name is Shinji, isn't it? Is it him? I think it is Shinji. I don't remember. Didn't know about. His last name's not Akari, though. Which. Get in the robot. I mean, if it was Power Rangers, his name would have to be Shinji Akari, so he could get in the robot. But, you know, it's, it's, it's Kamen Rider. It's gonna be well before you. Get in the Megazord. Get in the Megazord, Shinji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those, their robot companions look like Megazords, I will say. They do, the, the little creatures. The, yeah. the contract creatures? Yeah. The monsters. I, monsters. I don't get. Okay, so that's one thing that throws me off. Those monsters that follow them around in the mirror world, uh -huh. why do not. Why do they all look robotic? As con in contrast with like the mo other monsters, Robots they have to are cool. Fight. Don't question. It. That is a good point, though. I mean, I mean, it'd be one thing if like they looked like that, and then when they made the contract, they became like that. But yeah. we saw in the first episode that the dragon looked like that from the start. Yeah. All right, I'm trying to think. Well, they do blow up. Maybe they're not actually monsters. It is possible. Then again, the spider reformed from shadow, and it looked like. Right. It became some sort of a like a spider centaur. Yeah. Spider centaur. Like there, I know there's a mythology revolving around that. I don't Arachne. know what it is though. So. Arachne. 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 No, not Arachne. 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 I'm not gonna get the word. No, there's so. no way. There's no way it could be. Iraq. Arachne. Turn into Iraq. <laughs> yes, it turned into Iraq. All right. So has the oil. So we find out after the uh, Shab Batman. No, Japanese Batman. Japanese Batman. I, like eventually they could uh, they talk to each other and he's like the main character goes like yo why have you been following me all day like I'm not interested in you I'm interested in that dragon following you <laughs> where does he see the dragon our main character doesn't see him I think that he was just following him because he knew that the dragon was after yeah Shinji so he kept and following it, him and it seemed quite obvious that he just wasn't paying attention to him when it was around him for some reason even though he knew it was being followed yeah Alright, so then, uh, Shao, Japanese Batman gets a phone call. Hey, there's a monster, like, on top of this building. Come kill- Oh, wait, we forgot to mention the fact where he he hid from the Apple computer. Oh, yeah. He hid from his Apple Our main computer. character. Our main character, Shinji. Yeah, he- He's a Samsung guy. He was- he's a So, no, he had, like, don't a late- Shinji, we don't know if that's him or not. Sorry. He had, like, a late reaction. He look, He's looking into the screen. All s and he, he already sees his re reflection, but he's like a few seconds before it goes like, <gasps> Oh, reflection, no! <laughs> what? And then, uh, and then he, his co-workers look at him like he's insane. He they, slowly reaches over to press the mouse like, The mouse is also reflective, by the way. <laughs> um, Your eyes are reflective. Wait, does that mean that they can... I think one thing he has... If somebody wanted to, could they jump into his eye to go to the mirror universe thing? And then, it's a good question. In the mirror universe, one thing I've noticed with all these kidnappings, though, uh, each time it's happened, it's always been in private. No one else is around to see it. 
Yeah. yeah. Like, I think that's for the best, though. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, like, they know what they're doing. if it was just some random monster that didn't have any brains, they would probably, like, be taking people out of the wild zoo. So, is there sort of more brains behind the operation, or what? Like, is there, like, a, an overall, like, menace controlling all the monsters? Yeah. I don't know. That's a good question. All right. All right, so our Japanese Batman goes on top of the roof, saves a guy from almost dying from a spider, and... Or Cobra. What? Or... What? So, he enters a mirror dimension. No, no, hang, hang on. What, 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 is, what did you just say? I said Lord Cobra. Like from G.I. Joe? Yes. I don't know. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so he enters the mirror world and proceeds to fight the monster. <laughs> and as he's doing so, our main character goes up and we figure out, like, yeah, the name is, he saw on the paper. We realize that the two strangers that he's been interacting <laughs> with, uh, They're looking for him? The one girl, yeah, turns out it's her brother that's missing. Yeah. Yeah, so her brother's missing, and she wants to know why, like, he suddenly disappeared, and she's on the look for him. My guess is that he was eaten by a dragon. Yeah, and, um... Uh, okay, so, main character enters on the roof, and he's talking to her. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, he looks behind her back, and you see, like, Japanese Batman elbowing the shit out of the spider. <laughs> Don't actually get him. I didn't. You're not I a didn't. common writer. You can't get away with that. <laughs> it's watchable. Ah! Okay, so then the main, oh, no. the main character walks up to the mirror. Goes like, can WWE. I? Oh, all right. I'm he fine. goes like, can I fight like him? It's like, I don't know what she says. Like, oh yeah, she has to, he has to make a contract with the monster. It tears up the card. Yeah, the, the it was, card that was one thing I do not get. Was seals. He randomly ripped the card. It's like, I want to stick my neck out to save him, or, or fight him. I don't know. Stick why. my neck out by destroying my one thing that protected me. And all of a sudden, he knows that he has a contract in his deck. No, she showed it. No, to she him. pulled it out of his yeah. deck. Oh, okay. So he does, he pulls it out. Dragon comes out of nowhere, enters the card, and becomes the Red Power Ranger. You don't remember what I said. You're pissing Com off like five people on the YouTube. Common writer, oh, it's five I know. Now. It is five now. Common writer. Common All right, writer. there we go. All right, so it becomes a red the common writer. Get another fan. Probably I said, not. I said writer. I meant doubt it. Thank you though, if you did. All right, so the red common writer, and all of a sudden he starts. He gets super serious and gets into action. He starts acting like a pro, like. Slicing up the monster, fighting professionally. That's magical like, dragon powers, man. Yeah. He does not have dra dragon blood going through his veins. Maybe he, he does. does. Maybe he that. does. We don't know how the contract works. We haven't seen that episode yet. The fallout of so, making a contract with the monster. I'm guessing the dragon has some sort of training in martial arts to be able to pull off those moves. Well, it is an eastern dragon. Yeah. Alright, so Dune starts kicking ass and wins it, uh, beats the monster. And in the episode, um, the Japanese Batman, for a reason, for whatever reason, turns on him, just like that. Yeah, he <laughs> starts beating the crap. <laughs> like, yes, and suddenly, it, and suddenly, it just turns out that it seems to work like magical girls in Madoka Magica. I have not Wait until we get to Comrade Guy. It's written by the same guy. Monica Magica? Mm hmm. Oh, good lord. <laughs> yeah, so that's how that episode ends. Also, Japanese Batman suddenly turning on him makes no sense for me right now. We're sure it will yeah. probably in the next episode. I think that's where the episode ended, right? Yeah, yeah that's where the episode ends. Alright, so. Roll credits. Roll credits, yeah. Is there any other things you wanted to add? Uh. I cannot say for life, man. No, there were some other confusing parts of the episode, but I can't remember which. Oh, no, the only. Part I don't like about this episode was that little girl crying. Supposedly. Yeah, you cringed whenever she did that. Yeah. Why did you? I, why I cringe? Yeah. I can't stay. 
I can't stand that kind of fake acting. Like, if it's that bad, I'm going to cringe. It was a child actor. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's we, it's okay. I'm She's part not of, on the screen anymore. I'm part of weird. Yeah, I you know. Mike Jordan told me that. So, Tristan, do you have anything to add? No. All right. Just see you guys next video with Kamen Rider Ryuki, episode three.